Sabres already. The officials are here out on the ice. The Bobcats getting sent. Ben Churchfield stretched out. Peter DeSalvo looks ready to go as well. This is going to be an interesting matchup. This matchup has not lacked in drama over the course of this uh, early part of the season. As the official looking down, checking with the linesman, checks with the judges, and we are set to go. Equipment manager making his way to the bench. Last second fixes here. As now we are ready to go. Houston Wilson. Set to take on Tommy Sikos. Puck is down. One back there by Wilson. Mercurio slaps it back towards Devine. Fight right off the bat. Portillo going to go, and he starts throwing a right away with Tyler Chavez-Leach. Tyler Chavez-Leach knocks down Portillo. Portillo the first one back up, though, as Tyler Chavez-Leach and Portillo former teammates here. Little surprise, that was the first thing to go. Not even four seconds into this one, and we've already had a, uh, a tiff. So, face-off will come right back to center ice. Nick Gullo heads off the bench, and we'll be back to five-on-five -five hockey here. So, Gullo out there with Wilson and Mercurio now. Four seconds in, puck is dropped, and now Quad City wins the draw. Back to Walsh. Walsh controlling in his own zone. Takes a look up, bounces off the boards, and that one will be dumped in. Back to play, Churchfield moves it back up the near side boards. Picking it up there was Wilson, left it back behind. It's picked off there by Ben Bocall, the captain, who takes it behind the net. Bocall up the far side boards to Mercurio. Mercurio flips that out of the zone to Wilson. Wilson with a little hustled pass. It's turned back around by Bocall. He gets into the zone, but again, it's taken right away. Now Devine side steps a couple of checks, gets in, into the slot, fire shot, and it's saved by DeSalvo, hits him right in the chest. Keplinger scoops it up and breaks out the other way. Hustling down the near side boards, Keplinger run into those boards by Bocall. 45 seconds into this one, and as I said, every game between these two teams certainly keeps it interesting. Sova has it, fires it down, it's picked off and moved along. Picked off there by Pagosi, who gets it out of the zone. Has some trouble controlling, however. As it's right in front of that Quad City bench, Kyle Stevens getting his first shift out here for the Bobcats. Moving back the other way, Stang, Stang cutting through, fires, and that one goes wide. Moving up the boards. Taking a little look there was Borchette, but it's moved along by Quad City, right back through the middle, all the way down. They say it was touched, so it'll be moved back up by Dom Horvath. He takes it in the sideboards. Trying to move it up the far side boards again. It's slapped back down, where it'll be picked off by Stevens. Moved back up the boards, and again, Quad City ends up with it. Tying up his man alongside the boards with Stevens. It's sent back to the point. A little look, a shot. It's over the top of the net and into the netting. So, 89 seconds in, <laughs> it's 0-0. Zero to zero, And it certainly hasn't been boring to start things off. Faceoff looks like it's going to come to the left-hand side of Churchfield. As we take a look down here. Atkins, Seacoast, meeting up in the circle. Atkins, fresh off his ECHL call-up. Turn around by Horvath, slap back to center ice, trying to move it out, could not get it out. Declan Conway pushed along through the middle as it's picked off now by Borshev and starts out three on two. If they hurry, they flip it in. DeSalvo makes a catch like a second baseman there in baseball. So faceoff will come back into the Bobcats offensive zone as the faceoff comes to the right-hand side of DeSalvo. The front three will stay the same. Dante Juris makes his way out as he's out there with Zach Boyle. Saw a little bit of Boyle back there in the game against Peoria as he drove quite a ways to get there. Moving along, Juris keeps possession, throws it towards the front. It's kicked into the corner there by DeSalvo. Now Borshev on the chase. Puck is moved down and all the way down. They say it did get touched, so Boyle trying to get in between. Drops it off for Juris, and Juris moves it up the far side boards. Flipped off a body, and it's moved back to Walsh. Walsh for Quad City, flipping that along. Pushing it ahead is Sova. He sends it all the way down. That should go for icing as Boyle gets back to touch. So, <laughs> a couple minutes in here, two minutes, ten seconds, zero to zero. Up on the scoreboard. As now, here's Gullo out here with Mercurio and Wilson. Gullo directing traffic. As a little peculiar, as Wilson lined up almost behind Gullo here. Nobody on the near side boards as Gullo trying to win this draw. He's tied up immediately. It's flipped back out to center ice. 
hustling back for it. Divine, that's going to have the distance, and Quad City won't be allowed to make a change. So faceoff comes all the way back down, and basically all that did was kill seven seconds. Bobcats looking to win an offensive zone faceoff again. Gullo trying to win a draw. He and Connor Fries have met up quite a bit here. Puck is going to kick out the Bobcats from the circle as Wilson will step in to take the draw against Fries. Fries wins it again. Walsh sends it back behind for Sova. Sova up the far side boards. Not too much on that one, however, as it's kicked out and finally moved out by Quad City. Picked up and Ben Bocall chasing it back. He is harassed by Connor Fries. Back for it is Divine. Devine takes his time as he goes behind the net. Taking a look, he loses possession there and sends it up the sideboards again to Mike Mercurio. Mercurio passes across his own zone. Back for it, Devine. Devine, he gets rubbed off and still keeps possession of the puck, however. Flips that one towards center ice, and that will get into center ice territory where it's picked up there by Borshev. He dumps him. Or excuse me, that was Mercurio. My apologies. Back behind. Puck picked off here by Wilson. He's taken down on the play. And back behind, now Gullo hustling after it. Send up the sideboards, kept there by Papandrea. Papandrea back down low, sends it along the boards, and hits off the back of the net. Now Sova with plenty of time as the Bobcats make a line change. Gets it back to center ice, flips it ahead, does Keplinger, and now all the way back it goes. Back below the goal line where it's scooped up by Kyle Stevens, a recent addition to the Bobcats roster. Move back along, fed up the boards, but nobody there in a black uniform. That one goes back down below the goal line. Some trouble for the Bobcats as Quad City has possession. Branchick throws it through, deflects off a man, and pushed ahead by the Bobcats. Trying to hustle it out, a quick pass across. Could not be controlled there by Dakota Almer, who just dumps that puck in. The Bobcats make a change. DeSalvo leads for Branchick. Branchick, a little slap pass up the sideboards, and quickly the other way. It's turned around. Mitch Atkins with a toss up. He finds Borshev. Borshev flips it ahead, but again, it's knocked right back out of the zone. Dante Juris picks up, sends ahead for Atkins, who bashes it off the boards, but right onto Branchick's stick. Turns around again, dumped in by Declan Conway. Conway tries to get free. He rushes towards it. DeSalvo comes out to play. It's flipped up the boards again, and Bennett will start out the other way. Bennett has it chopped away from him. It's kept on side, right towards the front, trying to send it towards Mitch Atkins was Declan Conway. Could not. Atkins now coming up with it. Takes a rough ride. He and Borshev both there, but Stoya steps in and takes away the puck. Back out the other way comes the Quad City Storm. Flipped into the zone, picked off there by Juris. Trying to play it back through, it chops around Shane Bennett, who has been a thorn in the Bobcats' side this season, had it for a second before it was taken away. Puck picked off again. Working towards the front, a little stick shot there, and trying to figure out where that puck was, Ben Churchfield ends up on top of it. Four and a half minutes into period one, it's zero to zero, Bobcats and Storm. As this period has ticked right along, both sides feeling each other out right now. About 40 seconds till the combatants get out of the penalty box. Chavez, Leach, and Portillo. So, face-off coming here. Back in the defensive zone for the Bobcats. They get set, taking a look. Sikos comes out to take the draw. 15 and a half to go, 0-0, period number one. Sikos to take the draw for the Storm. He's going to get kicked out. And that means... A little contact there. My apologies, keeping an eye out here. And now some uh, glove shaking going on as Divine being led away. A <laughs> little pushing and shoving off the side there with Richie Pinkowski. Pinkowski and Divine look like they might get into it here. Pinkowski and Divine staring at each other. Puck is dropped. One to the sideboards. Divine was floating up near the blue line. Moves over to Stoya. Stoya has possession, flips it back towards the net, it goes into the corner. Now Devine chasing after Pinkowski, runs him hard into the boards. And that puck is pushed back behind the net. Again, that puck floating around down there below the goal line. Bobcats battling. Devine right in Pinkowski's face, he slashes at him. And no call on that. Fired through, kicked aside there by Churchfield. Another chop by Pinkowski. As again, that puck is down low. That puck still working around down below the goal line. Quad City trying to come out with it. It's pushed to the sideboards. And now again, Pinkowski will go, whether he wants to or not. And Devine is railroading him. Pinkowski with about six chops to Devine before Devine finally had enough, took off his gloves and put Pinkowski in his place. Devine chanting towards the bench. Pinkowski is red in the face. And he's going after Devine as he's trying to get in the penalty box. So Devine will be sent to the box. Pinkowski will head for the sin bin as well. 
He took six good whacks at Ryan Devine before <laughs> Devine finally had enough. That one you could tell was going to come from the faceoff. But again, more fun here on New Year's Eve. <laughs> you know these two teams were going to get into it. And it didn't take long. Four seconds into the game, and now Portillo is being released from the box. Which means Chavez Leach will be too. That takes us to the 30-second media timeout. We'll step aside here, and when we come back, it's 0-0. The puck drop, we'll see. It looks like it's going to be down in the Bobcats' defensive end. We'll be back here on Mixler.com. <laughs> 